This is a wonderful article about the Solar Sipper written by Dr. Scott Shalloway called Drinking and Bathing Just Don't Mix. Water, it's our most precious natural resource. Without it, life as we know it would cease to exist. It's the source and support of all life on Earth. And for backyard birders, water is the secret to attracting a colorful collection of visitors all year long. The virtues of water are many, but most importantly, water satisfies thirst. Animal tissue is approximately 70% water. Water lost in urine or evaporation can be replaced by eating water-rich foods, such as insects and berries, or by simply taking a drink. Water also provides a convenient place to bathe. During warm weather, birds routinely immerse themselves in shallow puddles of water. They fluff their feathers and flap their wings to ensure that every feather gets soaked. When they leave the water, they fluff and shake their feathers and preen. Clean feathers insulate the body from summer heat and winter cold. Finally, after a cold bath on a hot day, a bird might just feel better and look better to other birds. A good soaking may relieve the itch and discomfort caused by mites and feather lice. And a smartly groomed male whose appearance helps to attract females, holds a mate's attention and deters competitors, may be taken more seriously than its less fastidious counterparts. These virtues have been known for years and in large measure explain the historic popularity of backyard bird baths. Bird lovers go to great lengths to satisfy their backyard visitors. Unfortunately, bird baths are just that, baths. After just a few soakings, a traditional bird bath turns into a warm, soupy broth of dirty water, shed feathers, and droppings. Hardly an irresistible place to take a drink. In 1989, Tom Holliday, a lifelong animal lover, decided backyard birds deserve better. I wanted to build a device that would keep water cool in hot weather, use solar power to keep water liquid in cold weather, and was easy to keep clean. He recalls. In the process, I eliminated the drudgery of scrubbing traditional bird baths and the expense and bother of electric heating elements. Holiday presented his solution to the bird dilemma and called it the solar sipper. It consists of three parts. The top cover keeps dirt and debris from soiling the water, while a single small hole offers thirsty birds an ideal drinking platform. The main bowl rests inside a larger outer bowl. The air space between the bowls insulates the water from temperature extremes. In winter, the passive solar heats, heats, keeps the water from freezing down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit when the fresh water is placed out in the sun. During the summer, the air space prevents the water from overheating. In other words, the solar sip provides clean, fresh drinking water all year long. Simply reliably and inexpensively. If you already have a bird bath, the solar sipper is a perfect complement to ensure that clean drinking water is always available. Though the solar sipper can be post mounted, it works even better when placed directly on the ground. One of the world's leading authorities, Dr. S Dr. Shalloway, uh, calls the solar sipper a remarkably simple and effective watering device. So often, the best ideas are the simple ones. I've seen everything from cardinals to blue jays to chickadees and goldfinches drinking from my solar sipper, which I keep on the ground about five feet from a tray feeder.